Welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 3. I'm Demon Trigger. And this is Simply Simon. Hello, everybody. Hello. And this is a ugly bear with nasty clothes. I think he's a goon because he's wearing a fedora. <laughs> no, that would make. It, I think that would make him a TV trober. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're right. You're probably right. But at least where, where's his, where's his homemade katana? <laughs> well, on the wall, don't you see it? Oh <laughs> no! I. Eh. Well, anyway, we need to go. We actually need to get the mirror in order to get anything from him. So, French quest. And it's expensive as hell, mirror. Oops. I don't know why. Good thing you have got exactly 50 coins. Did you grind on screen for this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I yeah, think I I'm had to also grind for always like five coin coins short or something when I do this part. Even if you take every secret in every level so far, you won't have those 50 coins. Mm-hmm. It takes quite a while. On the other hand, you don't have to do this, so I'm more or less fine with it. I think the overall thing in this game is absolutely acceptable. It mm -hmm. is just fetch questing uh, to and fro, but it gives you something to do, it gives the whole thing meaning, and why not? Yeah, as opposed to just uh, moving from point to point. Yeah, it's completely optional, but it is something that's definitely better than the second game, and those moments are rare enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, we're gonna start Razor Ridge with this level. God, oh goody. God, damn it, this is one shitty level. I yeah, you already see quarks right there. <laughs> yeah. you know. I mean, I used to despise this as a kid and I liked playing this game as a kid. Mm hmm. I mean, yeah, not, it... not that I want to say it was a dumb kid, but I uh, mean, <laughs> didn't have that much better to do and not that many better games to compare it with. Mm hmm. Yeah, this world is just very boring in general. I think and the this level biggest problem so. with this world is that it really shows. Whoops. Controlling quarks, yeah, yeah. Is that yeah. it really shows that we're starting to run out of idea in, ideas, in my opinion. So that mm -hmm. there is a big oversaturation of gimmicks. Um, it wasn't that prevalent in uh, the worlds before, but it's really starting to show here. And sometimes yeah. level design is just ludicrously uninspired. Mm -hmm. And then there's also those uh, the helicopter guys that show up in this world now. Those guys are annoying as shit. Yeah, I used to hate them so much. And especially yeah. in this level, it's the perfect introduction to them and their dickery. Mm-hmm. So we're just gonna kill things with ass barrels, because that works <laughs> easier than just <laughs> dropping them on people. Ass I forget. I forget who mentioned it, but yeah, basically <laughs> ass barrels. Yeah, more or less. <laughs> this is more or less the, exactly the same bonus game that uh, is like three times in Donkey Country 2 where you have to shoot those guys but here it's far more clunky because purpose box sucks. Yeah, so you have to go grab a barrel, drop it on them, go back for another barrel, do it again. Yeah. It's pretty bad. It's a shame too because they probably, well I don't know if they could have, but they Whoops. probably could've, <laughs> they probably could have done more with this and actually made it not suck, but I don't know. I think I think the fact that it squawks in general just makes it suck because then you're, you're instantly compared to Green Squawks, who has the ability to not have to deal with this shit. Yeah, and it, it's not like I like Green Squawks in general, but at least he can defend himself. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> this guy can't it has just bad flying controls, mm -hmm. and no way of dealing with this. Not that those guys wouldn't be invincible anyway. Yeah, I. I don't think there's any TNT in any of the levels where they're in, but they're pretty much invincible. Mm -hmm. I can't remember if they can. Whoopsie daisy, enemy yeah. out of nowhere! Yep. Good thing that that's a bad a lot. design. <laughs> oh hey, go <laughs> back to fetch that barrel again. And yep. Again. One more time. Yeah. <laughs> there's co the coin. Oh, yeah. oh, I fucked and it again. up, gotta go back. <laughs> Yeah, and going in between two of those guys, this is a second instance now, and I think it's going to repeat it like three more times in this level. Mm -hmm. this it's basically a narrow uh, pathway with a copter guy up and down. Yeah. Times a thousand. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and oftentimes you don't even see them coming, because their annoying twit 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 voice, uh, noise is everywhere in this level anyway. Mm hmm. And also, I said I had said before that they 
probably could have had like more interesting coin puzzles for this, and I got lucky here. I don't know how the hell I managed to do that. <laughs> But they could have had in more interesting coin puzzles for like clocks, but they don't. Mm -hmm. It's dumb. Exactly. I think this is, I think this is the only other level he shows up in. I don't remember offhand. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, oh, and then and run right into that <laughs> Just yep. please wait at every single turn because there might be an enemy coming. <laughs> yeah. It's just why, why not make it intuitive? You know, like just show them beforehand or anything mm -hmm. that doesn't require either memorization or stop and go gameplay yeah it's bad enough in and that whoops, <laughs> situations like this yeah. and i see you're as good as timing as i am mm -hmm. yeah especially when you're when you're holding the barrel you bounce up and down off the ground too and you're you are kind of bigger since you don't want to hit the barrel either <laughs> and again <laughs> yeah great at least yeah. I managed to get through with enough with another life, so I got another barrel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. <laughs> now this used to annoy me so much. Way skill shot, nice. Oh wow, I didn't even I didn't even notice that before. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> hmm. Now here's an actual uh, interesting use for copter, other than just being an annoying dickhead. Yeah, really. The, this is actually legitimately cool. Mm-hmm. And you just bounce off his head forever because he exactly. can't hurt you. Of That's course, I went up the wrong thing, but there's extra lives and stuff, so it's all good. Whoops. Yep. Sad your hitbox isn't the best, but I think he is geared to make you bounce and not hit him. So, mm -hmm. it's not too annoying. Otherwise, this yep. bonus would suck. <laughs> yep. It's bad enough, but... It's, it's also, you have to be really careful because if you screw up and land on the, the helicopter blades, then you just have to do it again. Yeah, and try the bottom guy again, which can actually kill you right before mm -hmm. the go. <laughs> Not yep. that this would have happened to me back in the day. <clears throat> mm -hmm. What a shitty level. <laughs> yeah, this level is not very good at all. It's also uh. pretty long, and there is a big scarcity of DK barrels. And mm -hmm. it's really easy to get hit with quarks. Yeah. And the music is uh, not that great either. It's kind of repetitive and... And the background is browner than a modern RPG... Uh, uh, modern FPS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Phew. No well, time to save, even though this is the first level of the world. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> yeah. I like this music. It's actually a sort of like... It's similar to the Mario 64 castle music, like on purpose, mm -hmm. because she is playing N64 right now, but it's not exactly the same, so it's kind of nice, I guess. It's weird, but... That's pretty cool. I think this is one of the few tracks that are made by the same composer of the second game. Mm -hmm. If I remember correctly what someone else said in the thread. Yeah. I'm sorry I have forgotten about that somebody already posted that. No problem, it wasn't me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll walk, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna walk across this, uh, the sky. Why not? Well, he could climb. Theoretically. Mm. Yeah. It's not like you're, do any you're doing anything else in the levels. <laughs> oh, that's probably Man, the I wish I still had my skis, though. Yeah, it's probably the equivalent of a bottomless pit. So this level, I... Speaking of gimmicks. <laughs> yeah. I like the idea, but again, just like Ripsaw Rage is just auto-scrolling. Yeah. And even then, it's kind of not like... Like, the, the the rope being on fire doesn't really add a threat because... Except whoops. when you get hit like that, but I, it yeah. always happens to me too in this spot for some reason. <laughs> Completely but like it doesn't really it doesn't really make it threatening because the screen scrolls at the same speed so you just have to keep going up you don't like there's no like oh no I don't know if I can make it up there before the fire catches up kind of thing it's just yeah I think well, it's I'm kind of here neat dodging. way to show uh, how the auto scroll works because well there is no going back in this case and so many auto scrollers mm -hmm. just have randomly bottomless pits everywhere uh, yeah when the screen catches up with you but uh, it, it shouldn't have been auto-scrolling in the first place, in my opinion. Like here, yeah. this is fast, this is good. Is he you trying to outrun the fire? You're not going at the <laughs> same pace of the fire with the screen yeah. to do in the he rest of the level. He managed to almost outrun the screen, 
but the screen won't let me, so yeah, it's kind of pointless. Yeah, if it were speed-based, if you had to outrun the fight, it would have been a far better level. Mm-hmm. I mean, and every single bonus and hidden thing in this level is going to be you leave the rope for a bit. Yep. <laughs> it's kind of limiting. Yeah, it pretty much is. The only, the only thing that's tricky is that sometimes they're like, you have to scale up the cliff like I did for that first bonus, but otherwise it's not even... Yeah, that was kind of cool. Yeah, that that is actually kind of nice how they made an unavoidable enemy so you have to do that, but... This no, was not cool piece. though. I always <laughs> no. get hit by this guy too because there is no way of seeing him. <laughs> mm -hmm. At least they got a decay barrel right afterwards as if they, they realized it. Yep. You always gotta take leaps of faith here because there's lots of <laughs> invisible barrels. It's not like you've got anything better to do. I, mean, I think uh, it's not that bad of a level. The, uh, the designers in this series have always been very good at making repetitive things not too bad because they give you shit to do. Like collect mm -hmm. bananas on the sa on the side or dodge all those bees, and it's actually good vi variation in this level. So I don't yeah. mind it too much. It's just long and not too terribly exciting, but it's not like shit or anything. Basically, not like the last level. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> That's just boring and unfun to play. Yeah. This part is kind of tricky because these guys go in at, a, at weird angles, but... Yeah, it always trips me up. Good job in dealing with them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Other than that, it's just left, right, left, right all the time. Thanks. Yep. Absolutely no variation. This here is a dig. <laughs> yeah, because if you, if you don't climb all the way up here, you can't get up here without that rope. Exactly. And the rope will burn all the way over. over and but... then you take the barrel, jump off, and realize you've done a big mistake. Because <laughs> yeah. you can't get that guy. You have to throw the barrel from the top. Then you yeah, to you don't even see him because he's just in the middle of that tunnel. Yeah. It's a waste of Then you of go the in there time. and it's like, bump. Oh, hey, and so we got My the broken chair lift. Furry cons. What? <laughs> That <laughs> that's kind of awkward. <laughs> Finders keepers is my wrench. Oh, oh, whatever. I mean, you can use it to defend yourself against head crabs. Yeah. Use it for free. The Otherwise, other guy didn't charge either. <laughs> Wrong game. I was thinking of system. <laughs> uh. Yeah, he says for free, but the other guy didn't charge me either, so... Hmm. <laughs> apparently, apparently somebody's doing the business wrong. I mean, it's not se it's in season anyway, or is the snow? I know. So why should they <laughs> charge you? <laughs> why should they even have the lifts running? I don't know. How, how does this place not have snow when it's like right next to K3? It, yeah. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know. This, ugh, I'm confused. So we both missed a very cheap Simon Says gag here. Yep. <laughs> Good thing. So. <laughs> oh yeah, and a slightly annoying thing is if you uh, if you go over to the where the chairlift goes, you have to wait for the chairlift to pick you up. Mm. But don't uh, mind that. I mean, it it makes sense, and yeah. it's not like the overworld is terribly um, made for speed anyway. So. Mm -hmm. So hey, did you like Glimmer's Galleon? Because here it is again. At least we don't Only... get blinded whenever we turn around. Yep. But wow, so this is a boring level. <laughs> yeah. It's a completely pointless gimmick, and I mm -hmm. always hate darkness gimmicks in games because either they are really, really annoying or they're pointless, like here. Yep. What remains is an underwater level that's, well, you got on guard, so the challenge is absolutely nil because you can destroy everything. Yep. <laughs> there is no time pressure involved in getting those fishes to light up. Uh, nope. And, and even if it goes dark, you can still kinda see, so... Yeah, exactly. And you've got the same obstacles repeated time and time again, which is going to be very apparent in the second part of the stage. Mm -hmm. And it's just far too long for its own good. <laughs> yeah. It really, Another... <laughs> really boring to play. <laughs> yeah. Another thing that's prevalent is the whole uh, columns with uh, uh, enemies in them that go up and down, but these guys aren't invincible, so... You can just kill them and make it a non-issue. Exactly, it's very prevalent in the game itself, and in this level especially so. And it's mm -hmm. even more pointless than at any other time, because you've got on guard. <laughs> yep. 
So this is a nice uh, reminder callback of the bonus levels in the first game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I like the first game somewhat, only I just don't like 100%ing it because that's terrible, but yeah, it's you don't really need to. Yeah, pointless, but yeah. Well, the first game isn't bad at all. It's a bit, yeah. it's a bit rough a bit at the rough, edges, but... Yeah. This one is too, but it has the big problem of being, well, the third. <laughs> yeah. It has no business being as mediocre as it is. Mm -hmm. So, going between enemies that move up and down. I haven't seen this before. Like, mm. not, not in the game and certainly not in the first stage of this world. Or in this stage, even. Yep. Man, and this place is so confusing. Yeah. I always get lost here. Uh, then, then I realize I missed the bonus, and oh god! <laughs> For example, there is something hidden up where those fishes roam, obviously. But uh, yeah. what is it? May maybe a life or some bananas? It could as a well coin. be a bonus barrel. If you're missing one, you yeah. have to explore every nook and cranny. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then, especially if you uh, run out of time on the light while you're exploring for stuff. Whoops! I knew out of nowhere. <laughs> yep. Oh man, at least those guys are going in the right direction to, well, not surprise you. It's mm -hmm. not that hard, come on. And hey, this is literally copy-pasted of the same column we've had before. Yep. Yeah, not not a single variation. That's just so lazy. Yeah. And it's not like I... the level needed that, this kind of padding, because it's too long anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry if I'm complaining too much, but... <laughs> 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 Now this, this bonus is kind of weird. I feel like this bonus was just to find the coin until they decided this is too annoying, so we need to give them a trail of stars to follow, it or would something. Be way annoying if it were a maze like in Glimmer Scallion. Yeah, like this it's uh, pointless again, but I don't mind it. I mean, it's it's a nice juxtaposition to the uh, bonus we had before, where we were in one room and had to get all the stars, and here you got to follow a linear path. Mm -hmm. I just think they maybe would have learned from the second game, but I guess not. Since, yeah. it, since it's, they just u reused the darkness level thing, so... Well, I guess this level is better than Glimmer's Galley and then doesn't blind you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. hey, fancy me. And here's... Here. <laughs> yep, the, <laughs> the obligatory coin guy. I don't know why they can't... couldn't make a coin bonus work underwater. I mean, surely there'd be some way they would think of having that... Done. I don't know. Can't think of one either, and my the coins are pointless anyway. <laughs> it's it is limiting. Yeah. It, just because of that. The water. It it, it becomes uh it, instead of how the DK coins were in two, where you just uh you know have to find them in really hard places. This is just finding how to make the guy give up his coin, and it's not. It's not nearly as challenging as in the other game, but also, I guess, because you can't 100% uh, this game without the DK coins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Oh, hey, another hey. level with squawks and those annoying chopper dudes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thankfully, it's at least it's the whole level. <laughs> yeah, and at least it's not quarks either. It's the yeah. good squawks, so... Yeah. <laughs> it definitely goes to show exactly how far worse quarks is. Mm -hmm. But hey, it's animal antics. <laughs> Again. Yeah, yeah. For anyone who hasn't played two, there is a level where you get all the animal buddies, and this is that level also in three, but it's not nearly as good. I think there is a nice touch here in that the enemies that are prevalent in the respective um, sections of the level are those that carry items in them. Like there was, mm -hmm. there were the birds in the first part, and here they are the fish. Yeah. It's they don't, don't carry know. much of worth other than just bananas, but it's uh, it's kind of interesting to say the least. They're just used as normal enemies that carry a single banana then. Mm -hmm. And they were obviously hard coded to carry something, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and I think this level is uh, a very good example of an oversaturation of gimmicks. It has got the whole any uh, the whole uh, switching thing, but really it is supposed to be about those guys throwing the bombs. Mm -hmm. We're really annoying, and I'm really glad that it is not completely about those fuckers. But yeah. on the other hand, it, uh, it it lacks focus completely and utterly. Mm -hmm. We've also got the spinning dudes, which were in the first level. 
and yep. oh. and the second level. They show up the everywhere level. in this world. I think except for the last level in the underwater one. Good reflex always get hit here. Yeah. Fortunately, and here's something you'd never know about. <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, Ellie will wait down here for you, but <laughs> mm -hmm. um, doesn't make this bonus any less annoying. Hey, got yeah. Ellie again. Because why not? Yeah, I guess, I guess they, because since you have to jump off her, they couldn't figure out a way to get her into the bonus level, so you have to get her again. Yeah, obviously. Uh, this is also not a very good bonus or anything. Like yeah. You, you're and also, using the same technique you used to get the bonus in the bonus, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also, if you screw that up somehow, then Ellie doesn't reappear and you have to do the level over again. Oh, great. <laughs> or start Yay, over from the halfway yes. nobody. Yes, he is. He is amazing. I love him. <laughs> Automatically makes everything better. Mm -hmm. Still can't kill those dudes though. Yeah. Even w even with spider webs. Too bad, really. Yeah. But again with the birds, I said, hey. <laughs> yeah, that was so short. Why couldn't we have him for longer? Yeah. This is actually clever though. The guy signifying that there is something up here. I mean, you could, of course, just look everywhere upwards because if you get squitter, there is bound to be a bonus in high places, but yeah. I think this is an, a, a nice way of giving you a non-obvious sign that there might be something of interest here. Yeah, it's kind of the same way they use like single bananas and stuff. Exactly. Only in a different way. Exactly, it's, it's clever, I appreciate that. And mm -hmm. Bonus itself with screen bananas. <laughs> yeah. It also not utilizes Quitter in any way. It might be a bit hypocritic because uh, the last bonus I clip played about the bonus being the same thing that you used to get the bonus and now mm -hmm. it doesn't use. Uh, whatever. Yeah. That's not too good. And this is a bitch. Yep. <laughs> hey, what are you Hey, doing? what's up? <laughs> <laughs> and this and is also I did that wrong. Annoying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did that completely wrong, so I got bumped off for being bad. Yeah, and also here, jumping down here, you have to turn around in midair like that, else mm -hmm. you will lose the barrel on his shield because the footing is so tight. I, use, I remember spending 10 minutes here to get this guy. Yeah. It's really annoying, and then he will throw you off, and you gotta get up there again. And, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. At least we got a nice pellet cleanser after that shit fest. So, yep. can you this explain level to is me actually what the rumpus is? <laughs> yeah. This level's really good because it's just about moving fast and getting past bees. Exactly. Uh, it's almost completely devoid of gimmicks except for, well, rope, and this is not intrusive. It reminds mm -hmm. me a lot of chain link chamber in the first chamber in the first, uh, in the second game. Mm -hmm. And that was a good level. Hmm. So this bonus is kind of tricky. We got TNT, but we can't really jump down through that shaft of bees, so we gotta go around. Yeah, it's also clever. Yep. My question still stands, what is a rumpus? I... I don't know. <laughs> okay, I thought maybe just because I wasn't a native speaker, but... <laughs> I, uh, I don't remember offhand, I know it's a word, but... Mm. I th it might be something to do with romp? Like, if it were, would be a ropey romp, then I'd get it. Yeah. And it is a nice romp through a world full of ropes. <laughs> What could also be construed as a secondary gimmick is uh, bees moving in circles. Mm -hmm. That's very that's prevalent here. Whoopsie daisy, Whoops. there is one. <laughs> also, I want to show off, I didn't uh, quite do it this time, but if you get hit right here in the Whoops. right way, you can get up onto oh. that rope hmm. without uh, having to do the, this section of the level. Nice. It's a nice shortcut if you were speedrunning the game or something. But Pro tactics, huh? It, yep. <laughs> And not doing this for just the banana bunch. Whoa, 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 whoa! That was close. That was close. <laughs> Nicely done. Well, yeah, this this is actually action packed and exciting. So, mm -hmm. oh, come on. <laughs> I could. Yeah, that was just time. me being dumb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this part especially reminds me of Chainlink Chamber, but it's uh, actually a bit cooler than in the second game because mm -hmm. uh, they're moving so fast, not up and down. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those These guys, guys are always just. Really Standing in pits and... What do they do in their off time? They just stand around. They're guarding, like, you know. okay? <laughs> Whoops. I guess so. <laughs> Nobody told them what they were guarding, but... Well, obviously the coin, but... <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're just like, hey you, stand in the bottom of this pit. Oh, and we got this guy again. Uh... I hate this guy so much. <laughs> 
That's but fortunately, not, not too bad, you see yeah. that if you go for that banana, you get a shortcut. Yes, it's really obvious. It's, it's cool, I think. It's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. It's a nice way of using him in a not obvious way again. So yep. uh, it's not like they completely ran out of creativity in this world. It's just um, some of the levels sh mm -hmm. show problems. Oh, hey. And yeah, he's the one with the bonus barrel. So if you lose him, you got to do the level over. Is there actually a chance to lose him? Uh, If you do the normal path, I think you can. But yeah, you just okay. use the shortcut and... But it's really safe with the shortcut, and why wouldn't you get it? So, I don't think it's too bad in this case. And uh, yeah. it's not like he uh, is made into a bar barrel that you can then throw off a cliff and. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this really shows that they considered circling bees a secondary gimmick of the level. And I don't mind that. I mean, it's a normal yeah. occurrence, it's not overpowering or anything. Yeah. And I always thought it was really cool that he was the bonus barrel. It's just a surprising moment. What? He is the bonus barrel? That's cool. Yeah, I'm just turned off on it because of a level we haven't seen yet. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but <laughs> this time, when I first saw this, I, I was really I was like, hey, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, so this is Barbos, and the idea is you have to knock the urchins into the other urchins so that they fly away, and then you can hit it. This took me a great while to figure out back in the day. I mean, for yeah. a puzzle boss, it's not too bad. The problem I have with this guy is that he's actually really hard. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, at least. Uh, the second phase, you can go for yeah. yourself. Yeah, you get a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of stuff you have to avoid, and you only get, like, two you know, two hits, so it's really tricky. Exactly. And it's just pretty long and drawn out, and I'm prone to losing my concentration. Also, the hitbox mm -hmm, is <laughs> not the best. I mean, it's it's too tight, basically. Yeah. So you can spend a long time here. And it fired another one, um, so I'm gonna take a hit for that, but... Always happens to me, too. Yeah. And then this happens. And this yeah. happens. I tend to get surprised by that. Mm -hmm. I, I spent like a quarter of an hour trying to uh, get those missiles to hit him the first time. Then I went down here, and then he went up again and I got hit and I died and I was... Uh, mega <laughs> pissed. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, this is kind of tricky because he just fires a whole bunch of spikes and I'm just pro-grazing everything. <laughs> <laughs> Should get extra pro points for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was this mechanic in Toho games, right? Mm-hmm. Good. People look at the reference grid. <laughs> yep. But that's the end of him. It. I don't know. Yeah, it's not too long if you know what you're doing, but actually figuring it out, it's. It's an experience. Mm -hmm. But it's. it's oh, and then we get sucked down the train. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't want you here anymore. Fine, I don't want this world any <laughs> anyway. Well, the camera. Now that we beat that level, the camera scrolled up more so we can see the castle that was hiding up there. Oh, um, cool. okay. Hmm. But first we gotta go pick a flower. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's a rare breed of flower that we haven't seen anymore, so... Hey, I picked it for you. You idiot! Now it's dead! <laughs> 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 Very perfect. It's going to wilt in three days. Good job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> eh, that this guy isn't actually a botanist at all. <laughs> He knows nothing of botany. He also knows nothing of biology. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> All of those bears are so incompetent. <laughs> I think they're funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of incompetent bears... Oh yes, oh yes. We need to get our uh, requisite hint for this world. I think he's trying to tell you something. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, out of God. Yep. Yeah, those guys are great. <laughs> Alrighty. So we'll see you next time for the finale in Chaos Core. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>